Hello my lovely angels and welcome welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a college advice Q&A. I've been getting a lot of requests for me to do some kind of like freshman year advice video or college Q&A since I have been in college for a year now and share some insight into the college life if you're going to be a freshman or a transfer student or whatever. Just keep watching and let's get into it. Baby, you are the one. First question, do I get homesick? Yes, I would say I definitely got homesick a lot the first semester. I guess the second semester too. I think it just depends really like if you'll get homesick or not how close you are to like, you know, your house, your family. For me, even though it wasn't that far away from home, like I still got pretty homesick from time to time to be honest. When I first moved in, it was awful. Like literally I was so homesick for like the whole, I want to say like month or two that I was there I was pretty homesick. I cried so hard my parents left me and I would still cry sometimes like during the weeks and days and all that after that like when classes started because even though I didn't go to school that far like the school I go to is Tennessee State University if you didn't know it's about three and a half hours away three hours away from where I live so like it's really not that far but it's just like for me I'm just super close to my family and I've never really been away from them for like that long before like that you know what I mean so college is definitely an adjustment like even if I was going to like a school that was like an hour away if I was living on campus I would probably still get really homesick it definitely does get better, I'd say, like, over time. It really just depends, though, I guess, if you're going to get homesick or not. You probably will. It's, like, pretty inevitable if you're going to get a little bit homesick at first, no matter how far you go, even if it's, like, really close to home. But it's definitely just, you know, manageable and something that will go away with time, like I said. I think, I don't know if mine will ever completely go away. I think even when I'm, like, a senior, I'm still going to get homesick. I just love my house, love my family. I love everything about my hometown. I think it's super cutie here. I do miss it. Um, but, of course, it's still really nice to get away. The main things I did to manage my homesickness was just make sure that I talked to my family as much as I can. I tried to call my parents at least once every single day, probably more than once a day a lot of times because I just love talking and I just miss them. I made my mom send me pictures and videos of my dog and like when I would FaceTime her, I would like make her show me him, I guess. Like I could talk to him and like see him. I would call my brothers. So just make sure you keep in contact with your family and also having like photos and stuff like around your room of them. So you can, you know, look at them and be reminded of them all the time helps as well. Did I work? How did I manage life outside of work? So no, I did not work my freshman year. I think next year I may try to get some kind of on-campus job as like a secretary or a like administration assistant, something like that. But for my freshman year, no, I did not work. I did have social media though, which I don't really know if a lot of people can do that a job or not. But I can say from the standpoint of, you know, having a kind of job, I think like time management is just the biggest thing when it comes to stuff like that. Whether you have a job or not, it's important to be able to manage your time in college because of course, you know, lots of different things going on. You're like new and everything. It's just like a freshman. So you want to, of course, get out there and meet new people, go to parties, maybe um, join like on campus events, go to different clubs, whatever, and join different things. But like you just have to make sure that you have like enough time management skills to be able to do all that and still you know, keep on top of your work. Don't skip classes too much or any of that. Or I guess don't skip classes at all if you can help it. Yeah, that's definitely the main thing I did to kind of manage my time and everything was just make sure that I put my priorities first, which of course, as much as I love doing social media and YouTube and all that, was still school. You know, school is my number one priority. Make sure I'm studying, going to my classes, doing my homework, assignments, taking my tests and all that and quizzes and everything. If it's like online, it's up to me to take it on my own. Make sure I do that, you know. Just make sure you're putting everything that you know is important that way you're at school for first before you do anything else side of work as important as work is and making money whatever you know you still want to put your studies first what am i studying so i was studying fashion merchandising but i actually just switched my major at the end of last semester to integrated marketing communication which is pretty much the same as public relations and if you want to know why i have an entire tiktok about it on my tiktok page definitely go check that out but pretty much um the short explanation is i just wanted a change i guess i love fashion merchandising at the end of the day I'm, you know, trying to get money and stuff, and it's just really hard to make money in that field, unfortunately. I've always low-key wanted to get into PR and stuff as well, so I think in the long run that will make me a lot more money than what I was doing, which was fashion merchandising. Did I make any friends? Yes, I did make friends. It was kind of hard at first, um, for sure I would say making friends. At first, like the first semester, the only really friends I had were like my roommate's friends. And even then, they weren't really like my friends as much as they were her friends. So I would hang out with them and stuff, but I wasn't really close with any of them. I didn't really have like a real true relationship or connection with any of them. We would hang out and talk whenever, I, whenever they were with my roommate, I would just go with her and hang out and talk with them. But other than that, we didn't really have like any kind of real friendship or relationship, I would say. And that's the thing with college, like you're gonna have people like that, that you like are kind of friends with, but like you aren't like friends with, I guess, which can, you know, make it kind of hard to really, you know, decipher who are your real friends, who are your fake friends, if you even have friends. I mean, literally I've 
sat and asked myself, can I count these people as friends? Or like, are they really just acquaintances? Because we just really weren't that close. As nice as they were, they were super sweet, you know, girls and guys and all that. But second semester did get a lot better. I met this really sweet girl in my biology class, Montana, who's a sophomore, about to be a junior for watching this girl. Shout out to you, I love you. We met kind of like towards the end of the semester. So we started hanging out around March and stuff. And then the rest of the year was just a lot more fun after that because I had, kind of had my own group of friends because she introduced me to her friends. And then we all started kind of hanging out, going to church together. So I switched churches because at first I was just going to my uncle's church. But then I started going to church with like people from my school, which is really cool and fun. I cannot wait to go back to school and see them soon. Any regrets? To be honest right now, I would say no. I don't really have any big major regrets from freshman year. I feel like I kind of did everything that I had like set out to do my freshman year. I went to parties. I, you know, tried alcohol and stuff like that. Um, I didn't like, I wasn't like a super big drinker or anything, but you know, I did try it, which is something I wanted to do, you know, which is totally like, don't feel pressured to like do anything like that in college. You know what I mean? You definitely don't have to, and you can have for sure, like lots of fun without, you know, substances or anything like that. Definitely don't get hooked on that kind of stuff, you know. Be, be safe and cautious and smart with it. But yeah, I did try that stuff. So like, that was what I wanted to do just to try it. You know what I mean? Cause it's college it's time to explore. Never really saw anything wrong with that. So I did do that. As far as clubs and stuff go, I didn't really join any clubs in my freshman year, but like, I don't really mind that I didn't join any clubs. I probably will next year, I think. Like look into more and stuff. I definitely had to look into them. I just didn't really like join any, join any. I can't talk today, which is fine. Cause I know a lot of freshmen, at least at my school, don't really join clubs like right away. They usually wait until sophomore year or something to like do more scoping out and like really decide which clubs and which cliques, cliques they want to be a part of. You definitely have time for stuff like that. So I'm not really too worried about that. Yeah, I would say that I don't really have any regrets. I think I pretty much did everything I wanted to do. I got to go downtown a lot, which is super fun and cool for me, especially since I go to school in Nashville. So like going downtown Nashville, like super fun. Um, yeah, I, I think my freshman year is pretty good. Fave activities on campus. So as far as on campus goes, I didn't really like, I mean, like I hung out on campus, but like unless it was like a party or something, I didn't really like do anything like that on campus. Like my school had this thing called Courtyard Wednesday, where on Wednesdays, like everyone kind of dresses up and like the different clubs and organizations at my school go outside and have like different tables. You can go look at them. There's music and food trucks and stuff like that usually. So like that was pretty cool. Um, I didn't really go to them that much. I think maybe next, like this upcoming year, I'll go to them more. Um, I guess maybe that's one regret I just thought of is like not going to those as much. But like I didn't go to them enough. Like I went here and there and it was a lot of fun and stuff. So I would say that is a pretty cool activity on campus. Um, I went to the library a lot. I don't really know how cool of an activity that is because it's just a library and I was just going there to study. But I mean, it is like a really nice atmosphere. I would go and get like my Starbies or my energy drink, whatever, even if it's just water and just sit there, get some studying done. Sometimes I'll just sit there and read or like edit a video on my phone or be on my laptop or whatever, just to get like a change of scenery, I guess. Craziest thing that happened freshman year. So if any of y'all from my TikTok or have seen any of my TikToks or TikTok lives or whatever, you probably know this story, but I would definitely have to say the craziest thing that happened to me freshman year was this guy that I met on campus. I was just taking Instagram pictures one day and he approached me. We started talking a little bit and hanging out. And then that night he asked to meet up with me. And then later that night he asked to have sex with me. Honestly, I don't really know how crazy that story is as much as just weird and kind of gross, especially since he told me he was like a virgin and like I'm a virgin too. So, you know, it was just kind of like, different and weird that he wanted to do that obviously i said no um i would never do that that's odd i don't like that idea at all so i did not do it but yeah as far as craziness goes i thought that was kind of crazy other than that i don't really think like a ton of crazy stuff happened to me freshman year someone asked how i usually study so for me i didn't really study for my classes like a lot like i would study but like i tried not to overstudy i think the best studying method for me is always from the pomodoro method i've been using it ever since high school I think like sophomore year of high school, sophomore slash junior years when I really, really started using it a lot. Pretty much, I have like videos explaining it more on YouTube. I think I actually have a study with me video that I did like a really long time ago, like junior year of high school or something. Um, when I first started my channel, like pretty much doing like the Pomodoro, me Pomodoro method. It pretty much it just means like, I think you study for like 15 minutes, take like a five minute break. You can do that like three or four times until you reach like an hour. And then you give yourself like a super long break for like 10, 20 minutes, however long you want. Reward yourself with like some kind of treat, a sweet treat, um, go on your phone, read a book, whatever you want to like reward yourself, I guess. And then you get back to studying and do that as many times as you want until you reach your studying goal for that day. Honestly, I didn't really do that like a lot in college. I think I did that more in high school, but I really like next year, I feel like I'll probably get back into studying more and be more motivated with that. So I think then is when I'll really get back into trying to do that. But yeah, that's a really good studying method that I have heard of a lot. It's pretty popular, I'd say. But also just make sure you don't overstudy because that's something that can definitely happen. If you study so much for like one particular subject, you start to forget when, when the test or quiz or whatever comes up, you like pretty much blank. 
because that happened to me has happened to me all the time and still happens to me sometimes if i overstudy so just like study as much as you think you should study then if it's like later something just take a break go to bed because i feel like your brain like retains more information when you're asleep anyway so i feel like that'll be more beneficial for you in the long run than just like cramming it out and then like being tired and flunking your test and then this question is kind of like the other one but is the last question which is how i manage to study and still have fun like i was saying before time management is a huge thing with this just make sure you're managing your time well don't like put partying like as great as partying is and as great as like going out is like don't put any of that stuff above your studies like don't skip class to go to a party don't you know stay up super late if you know you have like an 8 a.m or something in the morning don't do that like i've done that before and i still managed to get up somehow but don't do that like you know it's not a good thing to do you're gonna be tired not gonna be able to pay attention or focus which means you're not gonna be able to get as much out of that class which at the end of the day is what you're there for not trying to sound like anyone's mom or anything but i mean it's true if you have good time management skills it really shouldn't be too hard to, you know, make sure you're still studying enough and getting good grades and to still have fun. Because, of course, there's a weekend. What I would recommend is for, like, my school, for example, we don't have classes on Fridays usually. Um, sometimes for, like, special cases, yeah, but, like, for the most part, no one has class on Friday. So pretty much the weekend for us starts Thursday, like, afternoon slash night. So, like, if you know that you go to a school like that or that you're going to want to party, like, on Thursdays and all the, like, during the weekend, make sure that you get your work done, like, during, like, Monday through, like, Wednesday even I would say Monday through Thursday make sure that you have like a to-do list that helps a lot put all of your priorities and things that you really want to get done first on the top of that list and then things that maybe aren't as important at the bottom so that way you can kind of really like tell more I guess what you want to get done and like what's the most important and then just work your way that way because like section it off so like what I like to do for example is I looked at my to-do list today I knew I had to film this video I knew I had to go to work so of course as you know much as I love doing YouTube, I realize work is more important, so I have to make sure I got this done before work, because I don't want to, obviously I'm not going to miss work till the video, so just stuff like that, making sure that you, like, I guess have good time management skills. And yeah, that's pretty much it, my lovelies, for my college Q&A. I went on TikTok Live and asked y'all for these questions, so I was supposed to be, like, more, um, like, freshman advice, like, freshman, like, more geared towards freshman questions, but I guess these are kind of geared towards freshmen, but they really aren't. They're really geared towards anyone in college. Um, so, I mean, let me know if you want, like, another video that's more, like, freshman-related questions only. But, you know, if not, I hope that you guys enjoyed this little college Q&A advice video. And I hope that you enjoyed getting ready with me as well. If you did, don't forget to click like and subscribe. I love you all so, so much, and I'm so proud of you, angels. I will see you all in my next video. Bye, loves.